Hey Scrappers, it's Mike the Scrapping Guy here with another video tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily create a flower as an embellishment for some of your digital scrapbooking layouts. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly get started. As you can see I have a background kind of already opened up and ready to go. But what I want to do is the, uh, the flower that I'm going to create is white. So what I'm going to do is just to make a contrasting color, um, instead of having a white background, I want to kind of make it a gray so, I, so it's uh, easier to work with. So I'm just going to go over my color swatches, double click that, and just kind of grab over to a gray, it doesn't really matter. Go to my fill tool and fill up the background and it will now be gray. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a new layer. As you can see it's now on top of the gray background. And I'm going to click on the little black and white default swatches to get my black and white colors back and switch them so that the white is in the front. And what I'm going to do is go over to my custom shape tool, click that. Uh, if you have any of the other ones uh, selected like rectangle or rounded rectangle, just go ahead and make sure the custom one is the one that's selected. And we're going to go up to our shape uh, area and we're going to find the shape that we want to uh, use and right here I have the animal set up but what I want to do is I want to look for a flower so I'm going to click on the little double arrows and I'm going to come down to where it says flowers click on that and that will bring up our flower shapes and the one that I'm going to work on right now is uh, one of the last ones, it's uh, flower number 26 just go ahead and click on that and come over and with my mouse tool just kind of hold the left mouse button down and just drag that out to the size that we want and there we have it. We have a nice, uh, nice big flower. It's a white flower, but right now it's a shape, and I really don't, um, can't really do too much with that as far as coloring and things. So I'm going to simplify that so we can work on it. So I'm going to go up to the little simplify button, click on the simplify, and now you can see in the layer, it is a normal shape that we can kind of work with like any other shapes that we had. And I could even make it bigger and smaller, or smaller if I like. And there we go. So what I want to do now is I want to add a little bit of depth to the flower. Just kind of give it a little bit of a uh, kind of a 3D look. So in order to select only that flower, what I'm going to do is go over to my thumbnail, hold the control key down and click left click the mouse button. And as you can see we now have all the marching ants going around the flower. So what I'm going to do is go to my paintbrush tool I'm going to actually pick kind of a, depending on what color you want, I, I have a white flower, so I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of an off-white, kind of uh, not a deep, deep gray color, but just a little bit of a darker white, light gray. And I'm going to uh, take my brush and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. It's set on 300. Uh, let's see, 45 is too small. But what I can do is I can use my brackets on my keyboard to adjust the size of, of the um, brush. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that size there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make a little uh, stroke on one side of all of the petals to kind of give it a little bit of a 3D look. So let me go here. Just kind of a little airbrush. Make sure the airbrush is the one that you selected. Kind of go up there. And just make sure you stay consistent. If you're going to be using the bottom or like one side of the um, of the petal, just make sure you do it on all of them kind of makes it uh, the light look like it's on the same size. So there we have, kind of gives a little bit of a 3D look right there. Now what I want to do is I want to make the center of the flower, pe uh, flower petals uh, red. So I'm going to come over to my color swatches and I'm going to choose kind of a little dark red. Uh, let's see, that's good. And I'm going to actually change the opacity down a little bit maybe like around 60% or so. And I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger, kind of taking up the whole center. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to click a few times to kind of get that gradient kind of look. There we go. So now we kind of have that red petaled, uh, red center for the petals, if you've ever seen flowers like that. And now what I want to do is the center is actually um, gray. I'm going to make that another color. Let's go ahead and make that yellow. 
So I'm going to choose my yellow color. Oh, golden yellow. There we go. And now if I just started clicking in here, it wouldn't work because we only have the outside petals uh, selected. The, as you can see, there's old uh, marching ants on the inside. So I'm just going to go ahead, uh, hit Control D to deselect everything. And I want to make my circle just pretty much the same size as that one. A little bit bigger. Let's see. Actually, let me go up here and I can change that to... There we go, that's pretty good, 331. And I'm going to change the opacity on this one back up to 100. And I'll, being centered like that, I'm just going to go ahead, hit my left uh, button. And actually, I see what I did. Let me go and delete that. I don't want that to be have a feathered edge. I want that to be an actual uh, sharp edge. So I'm going to just go ahead and, and click one of the sharp edged brushes. You can see that it's really small. I'm going to make that bigger. There we go. And go ahead and click it. And you actually let me center that a little bit more over here. That's pretty good. And there we have the circle uh, part or the inside part of the flower ready to go. And what I could do is I'm going to uh, select that by going over to the magic wand. I'm just going to click inside there so now only the yellow is selected. So I'm going to add a, a stroke, like a little outline to it, just to give it a little bit of depth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Edit, Stroke Outline Selection. And I'm going to choose a little bit of a darker gold there. Hit OK. And leave that as the inside. Um, now the size, it's set at 5 pixels. I'm not sure if that's going to be big enough. So we'll just go ahead and try it and see what happens. I think that might have been a little too small. Yes, it was. So let me go up here and try that again. Stroke outline. Let's change this to 15 pixels. Okay, there we go. As we can see, let me zoom in on this. We do have a little bit of a darker um, outline or a darker ring going in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of texture to that yellow. So I'm going to hit my magic wand tool click the yellow portion you can see that it now only selects that area I'm going to have to filter noise add a little bit of noise and see what happens there control D let's take a look and yeah, that looks pretty good there Hit control D let me zoom back out and the last thing I can do just to add a little more depth is I can go in Let's see what happens if we go in and we add a little bit of um, a drop shadow to it. That kind of gives it a little bit of a, a shadow behind it, gives it a little bit of a 3D look. We can also try to go and take a look at some bevels. See what happens if we add a bevel to it. If I double click the FX, I can actually make adjustments to that bevel to bring it out a little bit. And now what I can do is take the background, go ahead and delete that. And now I have my flower sitting uh, by itself and it has a transparent background to it. And what you want to do to save that as a transparent background for your layouts, you just do a save as and choose either the Photoshop if you're continuing to work in Photoshop or you can even change it as a PNG file. And then what, what that'll do is that'll keep the transparent, uh, the background transparent to use in your other layouts. So there you have it. There's an easy way to create a quick flower for your digital scrapbooking layouts.